We're up. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. <laughs> so we're coming to you today from the minivan. We're on our way to rest and relax for a little while. Don't worry, I'm not driving. Joanna's driving. Hey. So we're keeping it safe. Hope you guys are enjoying your Monday so far. Hey, beach. <laughs> Where are we going? To the beach we were headed to the beach for a couple days and so but still wanted to get on and um share just a quick encouraging word with you guys this morning yeah yeah are you gonna do it do you have an encouraging word for me what is it <laughs> say what oh oh sissy says hi hey sissy hi. hey sissy hey, hey. Um, so do you, any of you guys have an encouraging word for anybody? No. 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 <laughs> All right, well, this morning, I guess, sorry, this afternoon, just wanted to share briefly out of um, Hebrews, uh, Hebrews 10, Hebrews chapter 10. Uh, Hebrews, I really enjoy reading through Hebrews. It's some of my favorite chapters, uh, full chapters of, of the Bible or you know, found in Hebrews, but there's these verses in Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 10, um, verse 23 and 24, and we'll go ahead and read 25. So we're in Hebrews chapter 10, verses 23, 24, 25. I'll try and read this without getting car sick. Thankfully, it's only a couple of verses. It says, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and to good works. And to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another. And all the more as you see the day drawing near. Again, those verses, if you want to read them, they're found in Hebrews chapter 10, 23, 24, and 25. <clears throat> and he's writing and he's, and he's telling us and he's reminding us to hold fast to the hope that we have. For he who promised is faithful, reminding us to hold fast to the hope we have because he who promised is faithful. Talking about God, he is faithful to his promises. Um, and even though sometimes we can't see what's going on or understand what's going on, he is always faithful to come through. And, and we just need to stand and, and be hopeful, knowing and that he will, will do that. But the verse I really want to talk about is that verse 24 it says, And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. I was thinking about that today as I was reading it this morning. And, um, you know, often, you know, I spend time trying to stir myself up, you know, like, you know, hey, you know, let's get in the word or, you know, what do you have for me today, God? Or you know, just trying to discern what I should do each day and, and trying to be faithful with my days and that kind of stuff. But here he's encouraging us to do that for each other, to, to stir up each other to love and to good works. And sometimes that means that we really have to push each other to those things, to often remind each other, hey, what are you doing, you know, with your days? What's going on in your life? You know, how are you loving people well or are you doing the things that God has called us to do? You know, and, and that is the importance um, and, and one of the big things about community that God, he's built us for community. But one of those things is that we not just encourage each other when we're down or encourage, you know, you know, wrap our arms around each other when we're hurting. We're supposed to do that too, but also to encourage each other to do good things, to love other people well, which means that we have to get outside of ourselves and to think about others. And we're called to challenge each other in that. And we're called um, to push each other to those things. And sometimes that means we, we got to have to be willing to, you know, kind of be a little upfront really means that we have to be okay with somebody else um, challenging, encouraging us, you know, are you living a life that's willing, um, and open to people, you know, saying, Hey, what are you doing? You know, are you working for the Lord or, or you know, are you pushing to love people? Well, you know, it says in there right after that, it says not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, you know, it's an important thing that we gather. 
um, you know, that we come together as, as a body of Christ, that we come together on Sundays, we come together, you know, um, small groups or micro groups, or even, you know, just in your neighborhood as well, whatever it might be, because that is where these things happen. When we're just in community, when we're hanging out and we're talking about our days and our lives and our kids and our wives and husbands and whatever it might be, those are those places where this starts to happen this stirring up of one another. Um, and so the best way to be able to live this way, you know, the best way to be able to live a life that is, is stirring each other up is making sure we're part of community, that we're hanging out, that we're gathering together on Sundays and we're worshiping, that we're praying for each other in groups and, and those kinds of things. And so just want to encourage you, don't neglect gathering together. I know it's a little different right now. So some, some people are having to do that kind of via um, Zoom or, or YouTube or whatever it might be completely understand it, but don't neglect gathering together so that we can stir each other up so that we can encourage each other to do love well, to love people well, and to do good works. Sounds good. What do you guys think? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. We're going to love each other and do good works. Yeah. yeah. What are you guys going to do? Love. <laughs> what are you going to do, Maddie? Uh, all right. Well, take the day in this week to encourage somebody, to stir somebody up, to challenge somebody, to, to love their neighbor well, and to do good works in our community. We love you guys. We'll see you in a few days. Um, enjoy your week. Bye. Bye. Maddie, you going to say bye? No. Okay. Bye again. Bye again. All right, we love you guys. Talk to you soon.